Hello and welcome to learning how to scrape websites using Phantom.js and Casper.js. My name is Patrick, I am a software engineer, and I will be guiding you throughout this course. In this course, you will work through five example projects to learn the ins and outs of advanced web scraping using the Casper.js API. In the first project, we'll be scraping the results from Bing.com. We'll dynamically search for the terms Casper.js and then Phantom.js, push the links of both results to an array, and output the array to our console. In the second project, we'll scrape a website whose content is generated using JavaScript. You will learn how to scrape the title, URL, and date of this website's content, and then download and save that data into an HTML file. In the third project, you'll learn how to scrape the names and prices from a travel website. We'll cover how to wait for Ajax to load before grabbing certain selectors, as well as how to dynamically click on elements to filter by highest rating. In the fourth project, you'll learn how to click through multiple pages to grab reviews off each page. We'll be using a counter to keep track of what page we're on and output the results of each page in a screenshot. And in the final project, we'll see how you can remotely log into websites like Twitter, perform a search query as an authenticated user, and capture the results of our search. After taking this course, you will have a firm understanding not only of web scraping, but of JavaScript selectors, functional programming, and be able to execute front-end testing using Casper.js. To take this course, you should already be familiar with at least JavaScript level beginner programming.